Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It's Critic Alex. And I know all of you have been farming the Solgris dungeons like crazy. You've been overnight farming, you've been getting those books, and then you've been waking up and, and licking your lips and rubbing your hands together and then going over here and being like, oh baby, here we go. Here we go. Let's sell these, let's sell these books. Boom. Three and a half million gold. Oh baby, here we go. Let's sell these books. Boom. Another million gold. Let's sell these books. Boom, another whatever 264. We got a little bit, a little bit of flex here. Sell these ones here. Nice. I really wish it wouldn't scroll. I'm sure this is something that JP player. I just sold one book. I'm sure this is something that JP players probably complain about as well. I know first world problems. Where's the one that has 98? Oh, it got folded in. Oh, nice. Some, some clever, uh, clever AI there. So yeah, I got a lot of gold. Obviously, the video is not about selling my books, but this is what you should be doing. So hopefully all you out there are doing this. And so you've gotten a lot of gold. And actually, you know what? I could flex even harder and I could sell my treasures. I've got a lot of treasures saved up. I've probably got closer to 40 million gold right now. So I got a lot of gold. But what do you do when you have too much gold? I know this is not a problem that you have now. And this is probably not a problem you're going to have for a long time. But I went and investigated and a lot of JP players what they do once gold is no longer an issue for them because if you think about it you're eventually going to catch up right the game doesn't release that many characters doesn't release that much new content um every single update now once we get that jump to ur gear if they drop a lot of ur gear on us at the same time that could be a different story but um you'll eventually catch up and once you catch up gold will become less and less of a problem because you're able to do so much farming obviously if you're a casual player if you're a casual farmer that will take a lot longer that might never happen may never happen but for the hardcore farmers even the free-to-play hardcore farmers um you will catch up eventually maybe not as fast as i've caught up because i spent money but you will and what are you going to do well a lot of the jp players recommend doing the equipment draw the equipment draw and you can see by the rates here you'll, you'll be able to do one free draw per day so you're already familiar with this page sometimes you'll get keys as part of the weekly login for global so you'll be able to use those amber keys but in the rates, really what the JP players talk about is the five star awakening stones. You have almost a 1% chance of pulling that, which is nice. Um, and you've got chances of pulling other SSR gear that you can then turn into more awakening stones and enhancement stones. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I'm going to be dropping 10 million gold on these boxes. It's a little bit of, it's like, kind of like gotcha. You know, it's a little bit like gambling, but I'm not gambling with real money this time. I'm gambling with digital gold money. Um, and I want you to see what to expect so that you will know how much your gold is going to get you in return. Obviously, I recommend you watch lots of videos like this so you can see lots of different iterations and you can get the most data possible so you can see if it's a good investment for you or not. I mean, eventually it might be a good investment for you because you have nothing else to spend your gold on. But just before we do that, I want to take inventory of what I have so we can do a before and we can do an after. So right now I've got 800 of the brown stones. I don't know what they're, well, they're enhancement stones, but I call them little poo stones. We've got 800 of those. We've got 260. I don't really care about the one and two stars. We got 264 three stars, 76 four stars, and five five stars. I've been sort of stockpiling these. I'm gonna be starting. I'm gonna start making full five star SSR sets for my top tier characters. But first, we're going to enhance these um, so you guys can see that there's another there's another valuable um, portion to doing those pulls for gold on those chests because the gear that you get you can then enhance and then you can turn into more awakening stones. So we're going to be doing this. I've been trying this method out. I've seen a lot of YouTube, other YouTubers recommend that you should plus five the SSR gear. Some guys in my uh, knighthood have recommended it as well. I haven't had good results. I haven't had fruitful. Woo! That's beautiful. This is the very first time. I've never gotten a five star stone from doing plus five. So I also wanted to make this uh, video so that I could quickly show you guys in case I did get lucky. Um, if you have the gold, again, it is it is a gold sink and it is a uh, poo stone sink. You actually end up spending more stones than you get back. But if you can do it, if you have the gold and you have the time and you have the um, resources, the, the, the stones, then uh, sending your uh, upgrading your SSR gear that you're going to salvage to plus five rather than plus one, I think is valuable. Now, I'm not sure if upgrading the SR gear is up to, to, to plus five is worthwhile but um as you just saw and according to a lot of jp youtubers uh the ssr gear going to plus five is valuable so you can see what we're getting right now and this is what you'll also be able to get once you plus one all of this gear that you pull out of the uh the chests that, that we're going to be doing in just a minute here so i think this is a really interesting sort of experiment this is nice too because we basically do three experiments in one we do the before in order to clean out my inventory and sort of reduce the variables 
Um, and then we get to do the after. Now, we have a lot of uh, rare gear, so we're just going to dump most of this rare gear um, that we don't want because we want to make space. With the rare gear as well, I don't I don't upgrade it. I know some people do upgrade the, the rare gear to plus one, and that's fine. But I just feel as though it takes too long, and the uh, results are not that worthwhile uh, in terms of what you get in return. Now, I don't know how many of these rare balls I was saving. You know what? I think this is fine. Uh, but we have to obviously make room, otherwise... A lot of, lot of lifesteal gear. Otherwise, uh, we won't know what's what later on. Okay, so I think this is fine. We've got a couple more pieces here. But otherwise, I think this is fine uh, to take as is and see. I wanted to get to a round number, but I think we got to 39. Okay, that's ugly. Whatever, 38. So our inventory right now, we have 38 spaces. So whatever we get, we will just deduct 38 rares from whatever that is, and we will know how much we got. Now we are sitting at 312 three stars before we do the pulls, 88 four stars, and seven five stars. And we actually, wow, we went up to 1,907. So we got over a thousand of those brown poo stones uh, just from all that upgrading. So that's that's pretty dope. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna pop 10 million gold. We gotta do a lot of these, so let's let's get going. Let's see what we get here. We're not going to do any of the animations. The other really good thing is anvils. I didn't even talk about anvils, but anvils are so valuable, especially when we get the training cave. Save your anvils for that because you can combine the combine the anvils with the hammers, which is a hilarious, you know, <laughs> real world pun there. But you can combine the hammers and the anvils to guarantee that you will be upgrading stats rather than, you know, re-rolling them and, and potentially getting um, lower numbers. You might, not get, you might not get the stat that you want, but at least the number won't go down once it's already at, you know, 2.1, 2.2, or whatever. That's how the hammers and the anvils work in combination with each other. So, yeah, anvils are actually probably the best the best thing to, to pull out of here. Obviously, five-star awakening stones are not bad either, but um, there's no... There's a lot less... Wow, two more. There's a lot less value. I should be, I should be tracking how many anvils I'm getting. So, we're up to four anvils. Oh, that's awesome. Um, there's a lot less uh, value in having five-star SSR gear with crap rolls, right? Compare, I'd rather have like a three-star or a two-star SSR gear with perfect rolls, uh, perfect substat rolls uh, in that case. You know, you have like a necklace that's five stars, but it's like crit defense and, you know, you know all this garbage um, versus one that has, you know, 3% defense. It's a lot more valuable. And all this SSR gear, right? So all these SSR gears that we get that we're not going to use, if we get ones that we will use, oh, I love recovery rate. If we get ones that we will use, that could be, if it's got a really good base roll, that could be for future equipment, right? So you're saving yourself stamina every single time. Like that belt, for example, if this belt has a high base roll, if it's like 5,000, I just saved myself, who knows, 40, 80, 120 stamina? We, we don't know. Um, so there's a lot there's a lot of value here. But I, again, I don't want to overhype the... Oh my God, these pulls are insane. I don't want to overhype... Uh, th what I'm doing right now, because again, if you don't have the gold, don't do this, right? This looks good because I'm able to do it in large batches. But if you don't have the time to auto farm, if you don't, if you don't have the capabilities to overnight farm, um, then you just have to go at your own pace. Eventually, you will get here, um, but it'll just take longer. But you'll know what to expect, and you'll have um, expectations of how far your gold is going to go. We've gotten some bad rolls in a row here, but this is pretty fun. And I like seeing what we get. Another SSR piece. That the ring looks so cool, design-wise. Too bad that crit kind of sucks. Is there any... For all you JP players out there, is there any character that builds with crit rate? Uh, I haven't seen any yet. But there we go. We're up to 10 anvils. And we still got a lot of pulls left. Another anvil. 11 anvils. Nice. And we got an SSR. Ooh, this SSR life rune could be really good for, like, a defensive uh, Gother PvP set. Ooh... We're going to get real cancer up in here. We're up to 12 here. I should be tracking the SSRs as well. But we don't have... It's easy to track. And it's easy to count the SSRs at the end. Because... Oh, wow. Because... Uh, I didn't have any in my inventory. I, I had to salvage them all and locked the ones that I didn't salvage. A five-star stone. And two, three SSRs. Holy... Wow. Holy crap. That's really sweet. Okay. I mean, you are flushing a lot of gold down the toilet because then I have to upgrade that SSR gear in order to salvage it in order to hope to get more 5-star Awakening Stones. 
So, you know, I'm, I'm aware that this is a huge gold sink, but um, this could be very fruitful. And for those of you not hurting on gold, you should strongly consider doing this if you like the results that you're seeing right now. Oh, no, I can't do all these. No. Oh, no. OK, I'm dumb. I didn't anticipate that this would happen. You know what? For you guys, I'm just going to bite the bullet here. Wait, what? I can't upgrade my inventory. Oh, because I'm already over the cap. OK, hang on a second. Something that you're also going to have to deal with. We're going to keep pulling here. But yeah, it's going to clog up your inventory. I didn't even anticipate that when I started it. Damn, another two anvils. Um, but yeah, it's definitely going to clog up your inventory. So if you ha are someone who, you know, has a lot of doesn't have a lot of diamonds and ooh, doesn't have a lot of diamonds invested into your inventory. Um, and you sort of have to micromanage it a lot, then this might be a really frustrating experience for you. Maybe do it in smaller batches rather than 10 million at one time. But, you know, I am a big spaz, so I do this all at once. Okay, we're getting some bum rolls here. But that's okay. We are about halfway through, I believe. Down to 20 million. We got another, another anvil. 17 anvils so far. And about 5 million gold spent. A little bit, little bit under 5 million gold. That was no good. But um, we have gotten about 50 more uh, three-star Awakening Stones from the uh, rare gear that I salvaged at, at plus zero with no enhancement and from the ones that have dropped. So not, not a bad amount of three-star stones. It's becoming a little bit less uh, necessary. Wow, we get really dry spell here uh, because I've started moving to SSR gear exclusively, but still helpful. And you can always combine the three-star, obviously, up to five-star. So... In the last 5 million here, a lot worse, a lot more three-star stones, SSR gear, but no anvils now for like a few pulls. And, oh, there we go. There's my boy. There's my boy anvil. Can we get to 20 anvils, guys? But yeah, if you like this video, if you like this kind of content, uh, subscribe to the channel, like the video, share the video. We got another SSR gear there. I'd really appreciate that. I usually say that at the very end of the video, but the stuff that I'm saying while I'm pulling doesn't really matter anyways. I'm just blathering on, and you guys are just watching for what I get. Shiny, shiny. No shiny, shiny. Sad face. Oh, no, no, no. So, yeah, for those of you that don't like inventory simulator, this may seem very unappealing to you. Uh, I didn't think it was going to happen this many times during the course of the video, but I guess it's also my fault for hoarding equipment in, in the interim. So apologies for that. We got another SSR, another anvil. Nice. And then I want to see the final tally at the end when I enhance all of the SSR gear and then uh, to plus five and then salvage it. That's going to be the really exciting part. Hopefully we can get a bunch more five star stones. We're at three five star stones just pulled from here with the 0.8% chance. The 21 anvils are really nice, though. We are nearing the end of our journey. And uh, oh, another anvil. Can we get to 25 anvils? Woo -hoo. 25 anvils for 10 million gold is not bad. That's like, well, you can figure it out. I'm not going to do the math. Whenever I try to do math on the fly, by the way, it's it ends up an absolute tragedy. I am not good at that. So it's like, whatever, five anvils every two million gold. Something like that. Uh, oh, an anvil and a five star. Yummy, yummy. Give me more of that, please. That was sick. Okay, nothing there. Now I'm, my eyes are just scanning for the... Uh, sort of light blue this this sort of baby blue oh gosh okay so hopefully that was the last time <laughs> i didn't know that also 200 is the maximum amount of inventory space you can have for gears so i'm actually already maxed out on my gear inventory oh boy uh, yeah the inventory simulation is real uh okay we got a couple more pulls here. So we did get to 25 anvils, which is nice. Really nice. Uh, we'll do one more pull for posterity after this just to go just under 30 minutes. Okay, you know what? Never mind. We're going to finish there. So that was, I think, 10 million gold worth of pulls. Now let's go and salvage all of the SSR gear that we've got. If you want to just a quick uh, preview of maybe a future video. Oh, we got that. You are Marmus. Um, but check out all this SSR gear that we now have, minus the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, oh god, a lot, 11, 11, whatever, the, all the rest, you can count them all, all the rest are, uh, SSR salvageable. So there we go, that cost me about 600,000 gold and about 25 minutes of my time upgrading and all this gear before I salvage it, you know, enhancing it, 
but now let's see what the fruits of our labor will uh give us in give us in return so let's see here we got 18 four stars okay we're gonna do these last four along with these here i don't know if mixing them is a good idea or a bad idea six more four stars this is what i'm used to not seeing the five star ones we didn't plus five all of the sr gear we just uh got it to plus one uh but yeah it still cost us you know north of five hundred thousand gold so in total this whole experience has cost me you know close to an hour of time more importantly uh about 11 million gold and a lot of clicking a lot of clicking if you were playing on your phone your thumbs would be super sore by now but uh we do it for that we do it for that gotcha grind you know you gotta grind it out you gotta be better than everybody else you gotta you know min max as hard as possible trying to be the best you gotta ash catch him that shit so all of this ss or all of this sr gear i wish this was ssr gear but it's not wow we got nothing that was terrible i don't know if it's i don't know if it's worth the time to be honest it's only a thousand gold each to uh plus one this gear so you know even though i'm, I'm salvaging like 60 pieces of gear it's only like sixty thousand gold but man these re these results are not okay whatever we have we have too many <laughs> and i spent a diamond okay i spent that diamond by accident because i was just spaz clicking because we have too many of these brown stones so the full the final tally here we didn't get any new five star awakening stones from those salvages but we did get four five stars from doing the 10 million openings so that's a total of 11 from our original seven so we don't have any we didn't get any more but we got those four we did however go from 88 four star stones to 145 so we almost doubled the number of four star stones that we had we gained about 150 three star stones so you can do the math on how many uh, new five star stones we got in addition to those 27 anvils so with all that being said do you think it was worth it or not will you be doing this in the future when you grind up enough gold will you ever get to that point did you enjoy the video thank you so much for watching hit me up in the comments down below and i will see you in the next one take care